It's, it is Coach Josh, and we are live from the quarantine zone once again. And uh, uh, my story for today is, is not so much a story, but more of just a, uh, an overall message uh, of uh, beginning anew. Uh, I, I look at our, our task at hand, what we have to do in this situation um, with these new conditions uh, in life, and we have to start to create structure and routine. And um, it's like the ultimate Monday. It's like, it's, it's actually more impactful than New Year's Day because New Year's Day you can plan for. Like New Year's Day, the, 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 the calendar switches and the scoreboard is reset and you have this mental shift about like, you know, beginning anew. And essentially we've, we've got a whole new paradigm that we're operating out of right now. It's, it's, like, it's like a New Year's Day, it's like another ultimate Monday, but this one's different. And this, in this scenario, you gotta, uh, you gotta create not just new goals, not just um, new habits, but you have to create an entire new structure and routine for yourself. And uh, it's, um, it's, it's, I would say the ultimate Monday, but it's, it's, it's a Monday that we haven't had before in our lives. And uh, before you can uh, start off your new routines and kick off your new, uh, your new habits, you have to be able to sort of shake off the dust of the last few weeks and, and, uh, and all of the, the things and all of the changes and all of the shock and all of the uh, 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 sort of just uh, uh, overload that, is, that we've all kind of gone through over the past couple of weeks. So uh, right now, uh, my, my message is, is not to begin all your routines, but the idea is to, is to shake it off, to shake off the the, the, the dust, shake off the stress, shake off the, the, the shock. And that process is gonna be different for all of us. Like there are people that are, are gonna uh, adjust very quickly. Uh, I'm not one of those people, I'm a bit of a slow adjuster. So uh, there are people that will be just a little bit more slowly, but just um, I'm giving you permission to shake it off, to knock the dust off your shoulders, to, uh, to, to, to get your mind right, and then put your mind in a place where you can start to create these new habits and routines for yourself. So we're, we're, we're shaking it off, literally, right now we're going to physically uh, knock the dust off and get our bodies moving. And uh, we're gonna start out with some stretches that are gonna feel really, really good. So we'll start off with the, uh, the bretzel stretch. Now this stretch we did a couple of days ago and I really like it because it kind of hits everything. So gonna get onto the ground. Here, here you can be there. All right. Get it. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> we're gonna get onto the ground. So I'm gonna lie on my left side and I'm going to take my left foot, pull it behind me. I'm gonna grip my left foot. I'm gonna pull my left knee underneath my hip and my, my uh, left arm, I'm going to grab, grip my right leg. So I'm lying on the ground and I'm gonna try and touch my shoulder, my right shoulder to the ground as I do this. And as I do this, I'm going to inch my knee back behind me and continue to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. I can feel this in my hip a lot. I'm gonna to continue to work that knee more underneath so my left knee is gonna go further underneath my hip and I'm gonna to continue to pull. And as I set and position up and I feel that burning in my quad, I'm going to pull my right shoulder to the ground and breathe. Everything is tight. I'm going to take five big breaths, maybe more here. Squeezing my glutes, or my uh, left glute in this case, opening up that hip further. Ow, that is great. Then I'm going to Slowly let that right shoulder inch to the ground. Two more big breaths. Ha <sighs> 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 I'm gonna let go. Ooh. And I'm gonna rotate all the way around. And I'm gonna grip my right foot with my left hand. Pull my right knee under my hip. Grab my uh, left leg with my right hand. Lie down. Oh. Ah. This is my tight side, apparently. So 
inching that right knee back behind me, gently squeezing the right glute, pulling that left hip forward and that left shoulder to the ground. So I'm gonna keep doing this, breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Five big breaths. Pulling that right leg underneath me a little bit more, squeezing that right glute. Try to relax your face. That helps the body relax as well. Remember, no one's killing you. We're just gently <laughs> unwinding. Unwinding by winding up. Last breath. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's a great way to start the day. Okay, so I've loosened up my hip. Now, I'm gonna stretch out the chest. So, the first way you're gonna do this is you're going to grip your, your fingers behind you, lock out your elbows, so I'm pulling my shoulders back behind me. If you, if you can grip your hands, great. If you, if you need to get a belt or a strap or something to um, be able to lock out your elbows, but you wanna lock out your elbows and then push your hands towards the floor behind you, keeping those triceps tight. That opens up that chest directly. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Whew, stretching out that chest. Do five breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping those elbows straight, pushing everything down towards the ground. And then relaxing those arms. Now we're going to go through our seven way hips, which is uh, probably Bootsy's favorite exercise. I think she would do this every day if, uh, I, if I let her, if the classes wouldn't mutiny. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lie on your side I'm gonna lie on my right side, my left leg will be high. And then I'm gonna put my toe to the ground. I'm gonna kick my heel straight into the air and then stop about 12 inches above the ground. And I'm gonna go 10 reps here, three, four, leading with that heel, toe pointed down, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to drift forward and I come back to the center for ten reps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to come to the back and to the center. Two, Heel stays up, toe stays down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way through, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, one, zero. So that's all the way through. Now we're gonna do small circles forward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep that heel high and then reverse the circle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you're gonna pedal. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're done pedaling that bicycle. We're gonna rotate to the other side. 
I'm on the ground. And I'm going straight up and down. Two, three, keeping that foot 12 inches from the ground. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to go front to the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keeping that toe down. Eight, nine, ten. All the way through. One, two, three, four. Starting to feel good on the hip. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, small circles forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, small circles back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm pedaling. One, almost home. We're going to pedal the bike home. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, that is wonderful on the hip. <coughs> Thank you. Wonderful on the uh, the butt. Now we're gonna get moving. We're gonna get our heart rate up. We got a, we got some Tabatas to go through today. So we're going to do some inchworms to warm up the core and the shoulders because we haven't really done a lot for that. Feet about shoulder width. I'm gonna come out into the plank. Once I get here, you can add a push up if you're feeling ambitious. Come back to the beginning. Touch all the way back. Lead with the hips. Touch the feet. We're going to do five reps here. This is three. This is four. And then I'm going to do my fifth and final rep right now. Whew. Okay, good. Now we're going to go over the exercises. So the rest of our warm up, we're going to be playing with our Tabatas. So we're going to do the exercises that we're going to do in our training. So some of you have weights at home now or uh, have had them. So you can go ahead and you can do weights for any of the exercises that we're doing. I'm going to demo them without weights because most of us don't have equipment at home. So and I'm going to demo them with uh, bottles of bleach. So Bluetooth's got bottles of bleach here. And we're both going to do reverse lunges. I'm going to step back. That rear knee is almost going to touch the ground, but not quite. Stand all the way up, back, all the way up. So we're going to do three, four, five, just getting that warmed up. And then we're going to go back to the other side. Two, three, lead legs flat. Four, five. Awesome. Then we're going to do the squat. So. I like to do a prisoner squat to get that upper back involved. Elbows back, fingertips interlaced behind the head, feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to drop down into the squat. We do 10 reps here, squeezing the glutes on the way up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So. So we'll do lunges, reverse lunges and squats. We also are going to do T-spine push-ups today. So this is where you want to make sure you've got a good push-up position, whether you're doing it on the floor or you're doing it on uh, a couch or a bench. Feet together, knees together. You're going to drop into the push-up, come out. Just getting feet apart for that so you don't fall over. We want to be safe. So I'm going to reach up to the sky, and that's one. Then I'm going to drop down. That's two. So today, 
We're going for time, so we're not going for reps. So just make sure each rep is good. We're only going to be working for 20 seconds at a time. So uh, make sure that you're monitoring your technique and you're only getting out or hammering out the good reps. So we've got our T-spine push-up. We'll also be doing some deadlifts today. So if you have a cat or a weight, you can use that. Bootsy's going to demonstrate with bleach, but you're going to pick up your object, butt back, chest up, pressure, even through the whole foot. I'm going to drive my hips forward, bring it back down, drive forward, bring it back down. And I'm going to use my hamstrings and glutes, again, cracking that walnut in the butt cheeks, driving up. You can use, use whatever you have available for resistance there. We're going to do swimmers and mountain climbers. The reason why we're doing so many swimmers is because we got to train the back. And that's an easy way to do that, or it's a, it's a way to do your, use your entire back. It, it really helps your posture, trains the lats, rhomboids, rear delts, all of these important muscles that we really can't hit unless we have some weight or some really good technique with the swimmer. So I'm going to be reaching out. Eyes are going to look about 12 inches in front of me. I'm going to pull my hands in to do this perfect push-up position. Shoulder blades are coming down towards the waist. Elbows coming down towards the hip bone. Back out. In. Out. In. So I'm going to do that for 20 seconds today in my Tabata. Mountain climbers. So I'm here. Uh, today we're going to do crossbody. So it means I'm going to go try and touch my opposite arm with my knee. So left knee goes to right arm. Right arm goes to left knee. So I'm going across. You can go fast if you want to. But make sure when you're doing these that your shoulders are in front of the wrist. So you're going to be here. You don't want to be back here. You can also do from your couch, just like Bootsy's doing, or a bench or whatever you have available. We'll also be doing the curtsy lunge. So the curtsy lunge, I'm gonna step at an angle behind me and almost touch the ground, but not quite. And then I'm gonna stand back up, touching the angle behind me, back up. So I'm stretching, using that hip, 45 degree angle back, like an old-fashioned curtsy, or that's my understanding of it, but it does help attack those muscle fibers we don't normally get. The lateral crawl. This is, this is a challenging one. We're going to be on all fours. I'm going to take one step. My knees are off the ground. I'm going to take one step, and then I'm going to come back to where I started, and that's one. When I step, I'm moving my right foot and my left hand. My hips are staying about the same height. So your hips are going to want to drive up in the air. That makes it harder on your arms. So you want to continue to load your load those hip flexors and legs and abs. So you want to keep those knees close to the ground. You get more out of it in the core, which is why we're doing the exercise. So you're going to do lateral crawls. And then finally, for our core finisher, we're going to do reverse crunch crunches and plank marches. So reverse crunch. We're here. Feet together, knees together. I'm gonna pull my knees up. So my shoulder blades are gonna stay on the ground. Then I'm gonna tap the floor with my feet. Two. Three. We'll do five. Four. Five. Now if you have a couch, you can anchor your hands on top of a or on, on a, something that's stable that doesn't move so that it's easier to do the reverse crunch. So if you have a, a heavy weight, you can grab onto it over your head. Bootsy can grab onto this uh, post here. Yep. So there you go. So um, uh, anything you can hold on to will make it easier for you to do the reverse crunch. Uh, and then the plank march. So uh, the plank march will be from the elbow. Feet will be wide, 
We're going to lift, 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 lift. So I'm just going about a foot off the ground, maybe. Hips at the same height as the shoulder. Legs are straight, making it look good. All right. So we're going to do 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're going to start with just the reverse lunges and the squats. We're going to go back and forth. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of transition time, 20 seconds on the, uh, the, the following exercise. We'll do four sets of lunges, four sets of squats, and we're going, to, we're going to do that for four straight minutes. When the timer ends, we'll have about 90 seconds to rest, and we'll go right in to the next two exercises. So we'll do two different exercises at a time, going back and forth, four sets apiece. I'll tell you what the exercises are as we go through them, and then obviously you can follow along with me. Remember, only the good reps. If you're too tired to do really good work, just take a breath, hands in the air, Superman position, breathe, and then get back to work when you're ready. But I want you to, you can pause the VHS tape at home at any time you like, and then resume when you're fully ready to, uh, to, to kick butt. It's only gonna last for four minutes, so I know you can do it. Dig deep, halusa. All right, so we're here. We're starting the reverse lunge and the squat circuit. We're starting in five, four, three, two, one, and reverse lunges. Nice, these are one of my favorite. I, forward lunges often irritate my knee, but the reverse lunge makes me feel good for some reason. I enjoy that. So I'm going back and forth. We're alternating each time, leaning forward into that front leg. All right, that's 20 seconds. You have 10 seconds to transition. We're going into the squat now. So if you have a load, you can do what Bootsy's doing. If you don't, you can, you can do prisoners. And we're moving again. One, two. Remember, we're not going for reps, we're just going for time. We're going for 20 seconds. So keep that chest up, keep those glutes on. So when you stand up, you're gonna drive your hips forward, cracking that walnut. Your pressure should be in your belly the whole time. Breathing, breathing the whole time. Make sure you're not holding your breath on this one. You wanna stay strong. Back to the reverse lunge. Starting in three, two, and we're going. Moving. Enjoying that. Getting that heart rate up on a Friday morning. What a great way to start the day. Five seconds left. Just getting warmed up, fired up for the day. Awesome. Now we're going into the squat again. Second set of squats. So you can do I Dream of Genie. If you don't like to do the uh, prisoner squat, Again, heels about shoulder width, toes out to 20 degrees. Cracking that walnut on the way up. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep going, finish strong. Two, all right, that's two rounds. We got two more to go. We're going from here back to the reverse lunge. So chest up, stay tall, pressure in the lead foot, coming back. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Lunges are great. Challenge the balance, training your core, training your glutes, making it happen. Getting that total body workout that we love so much. Flipping it back to the squat. So I'm gonna go back to the prisoner, make it feel good, and we're off. If you're doing a prisoner, keep those elbows back Looking straight ahead. Excellent. Finish it strong. Three, two, and rest. Okay, now final set of reverse lunges. Best set. Best set. Making it, making it feel as good as it looks. So we're here, only the good reps. Now I'm warmed up, got my heart rate going, staying tall. Body weight is the most important weight to master. It's a quote from 
my friend and yours, Martin Rooney. Now, we're going back to the squat to finish strong and go. Driving forward with the glutes, chest up. Six. Awesome, 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Now you got a little bit of a rest. Now's the time is to get some water. Make sure you're feeling hundred fifty percent. We're going from here into the T-spine push-up and the deadlift. So to review, I've got about 60 seconds of rest, rest left, but to review, your push-up, feet apart, dropping down, reaching up to the sky, dropping down, reaching up to the sky, and then the uh, deadlift, whether you have a cat or a dog or some bleach, you're going to bend over, butt back, chest up, driving those hips forward. Elbows stay straight, chest stays up. That logo of your Training for Warrior shirt should face the sky. I'm wearing red right now, so I don't disappear when I'm on the ground. I wanted to give you a little contrast. I don't have a lot of color in my closet. I gotta work on that. But uh, we're getting ready to start round two. We're gonna do our T-spine push-ups and our our deadlifts back to back starting the first set in five four three better get ready one and go excellent so when you're do your t-spine reach follow the hand with the eyes so that your whole torso is moving together getting that upper body going stretching it out three two one. Now the deadlift. So you got some weights or your imaginary weights, and you're going to butt back, chest up, starting now. Two. Keep going. So I'm reaching my butt back, driving my hips forward every time. Making it look good. This should you should feel this in the hamstrings, the glutes. If your hips get all the way back there, you should feel it in the abs. Pressure in the front of the foot and the back of the foot. Total body conditioning, loving it. Back to the T-spine push-up in three, two, one, and we're moving. This is so good for shoulder issues, so good for training the chest and the back. Gotta take every opportunity we can get, times like this, to help our posture where we're stuck behind a desk, stuck doing things that we're not normally doing. Back to the deadlift again. So coming up, driving forward, kicking butt. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Back to the T-spine push-up. This is the third set. Should be warmed up by now. Hopefully you, you're looking the best that you can look. You're feeling the best that you could feel all day. Ready to take on the world. Ready to take on those kids. Ready to take on that boss. Ready to take on that artwork. Ready to take on that business. Ready to take on that planet. I'm really enjoying this. Now, back to the deadlift. Starting now. But back, if you have a kettlebell, you can go faster, you can do speed deadlift. Hopefully you've got some momentum now. I'm gonna drive up my speed a little bit, get a few extra reps here at the end. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're at the final set. So we're gonna finish strong. T-spine push-up starting in five, four, three, two, and 
we're off. Nice. So make sure those feet are wide so you don't fall. Make it look good. Make it feel good. Be strong, stay strong. It's not about getting through the training, it's about what you get from the training. Stay consistent. All right, time for the deadlifts. Best set. Best set, make it crisp. Every rep is a masterpiece. Every day you're getting 1% better. Getting 1% better at the deadlift. 1% better at the push up. 1% better at eating your food. 1% better at bedtime. 1% better at your mindset. 1% better at your self talk. 1% better all day, every day. That's 20 seconds. Now, you're resting again, getting that water. We're gonna do swimmers and mountain climbers. This is a shoulder burner. This is a shoulder burner. This is where the fire comes in. So, to review, swimmers, you're here. Perfect back extension. Shoelace is pushing the floor, coming through, coming through. You're not touching the ground, but almost. My eyes looking 12 inches in front. You're in the, the mountain climber, so I'm here. Leaning forward on my hands, and I'm gonna cross the body. Cross the body. You can go quick, but you have to keep that technique tight. Make sure it looks good. All right, we're starting about 25 seconds. So, shake it out, get your, get your water, put your water back, get the dog out of the room, put the kids to bed, tell the husband to shut up. You got 10 more seconds. We're starting that swimmer in five, four, three, two, and we're off. Yeah, yeah, I'm swimming through the Atlantic. Is that a warm ocean or a cold ocean? I don't know much about oceans, but I could use a, uh, a dip in the Willamette right now. So I scratch that Columbia. Need to get a little bit refreshed. I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit of the fatigue building up. Now, we're gonna do that cross body mountain climber. Here I am, cross, cross the body. We're going, making sure that shoulder stays past the elbow. My hips want to rise up, but don't let them. Keep them, keep them level, keep them level, keep them level. Three, two, one. Awesome, back to the swimmer. So, finishing strong, starting strong. We're in the middle, also strong. Swimming through, working on that upper back, pulling everything in. 10 seconds. Five, four, three. Elbows in tight to the sides. Switching it up. Going back into the mountain climber. So again, I'm pushing through my pinkies really hard. What that does is that activates the serratus or the anterior serratus, stabilizes the shoulder, keeps me, keeps me building posture building muscle, even while I'm training my core. Even when I'm training my core and conditioning, just like we're doing right now. Three, two, one. Back to the swimmer. Starting in three, two, one, and we're rolling. Nice. This is our third set. Finish it strong. We're on the downhill portion. Working on that upper back. Posture, elbows down to the waist, making it look good. Starting in five, four, we're back in the mountain climber. I know this is tiring, it's okay. You can be tired, you just can't act tired. We gotta be strong. We're going cross body again. Pushing through those pinkies. Staying away from the floor. Keeping the hip at the same height as the shoulder. All you gotta do is five more seconds. Easy money. And rest. That's it. 
Back to the swimmer. We've got one more round. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whew. This is a new kind of challenge. 10 seconds left. Six, five, four. Josh, keep your hands off the ground. You can do it. There you go. Give myself a little pep talk. I start to fade, start to fatigue. All right. Cruise on through the mountain climbers, push it through the pinky, and go. Making it, making it look good. Being strong. By the end of the quarantine, you'll do these in your sleep. You'll be brushing your teeth in the mountain climber position. You'll be eating your breakfast in the mountain climber position. You'll be drinking coffee. You'll be, you'll be Zoom calling with your friends while you're doing mountain climbers because you've done so many of them. Your shoulders the size of uh, bowling balls for doing mountain climbers. <laughs> We're going into the curtsy lunge and the lateral crawl. You've got about 60 seconds of rest. So while you're hydrating, getting your mind right, the curtsy lunge. I'm going to be here. I'm going to step back to a 45 degree angle, step back to a 45 degree angle. That's the curtsy lunge. The lateral crawl, it's different. Lateral crawl is here, and I'm going to step with my knees off the ground, step and return, step and return. So you're going to go back and forth not taking up a lot of space. This is something that you can do in a tiny living room, in a kitchenette, on a balcony, on a postage stamp, while you're waiting in line at the DMV. Four, three, two, one, and the curtsy lunge. So we're moving through. So we're doing that curtsy lunge, getting as much of that hip engaged as possible. Nice. On the side, step it across, looks like this. Crushing it. From here, going into the lateral crawl. So, I'm in position, knees up off the ground, pressure through the pinkies like we always do, and I'm just taking a step, coming back to where I started. Step, back to where I started. Knees stay close to the ground. Not trying to get fancy here, just trying to get productive. Using the space that we got to get what we want. Three, two, one. So, back to the curtsy lunge. Back on our feet. So, facing whichever direction you want, making sure you're stepping at that 45 degree angle. So I'm really feeling this in the outer fibers of my glute. It's exciting. You don't get to do that very often. All that pressure still in that lead leg. Three, and rest. So we're here, back to the lateral crawl. So I'm on all fours, getting ready to move. Moving. That's one. Back, forth. It's almost like a meditation. Just like you're gardening, you know? You're not thinking about all the, how much time you put into the garden. You're just thinking about what you're doing right now. You're pulling the weeds. Just right now we're weeding. We're looking around on the ground for weeds. Back to the curtsy lunge. So, starting in four, three, two, one. We're going back and forth. Dipping, almost touching the ground, but not quite. Dipping. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to the lateral crawl. Gosh, this is easy. You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't know why I made this workout so easy. That's one, two, three, four, five. Keep going. 10 seconds remaining on this set. We're gonna continue until we do four rounds 
then we're going to take a short break again. Let's get into that next step. All right. Back to the fourth set of curtsy lunges. This is our final set. Make them look good. Best set of each. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Chris is ready for the, the end of the road. He can smell those, that breakfast. He can smell those eggs, that bacon. Smell that faux bacon that vegans eat. I don't even know what it's called. All right, so we're back on the lateral crawl. Coming down to the floor. Starting in three, two, one. And we're moving. Stepping out, stepping in, stepping out. Hips at the same height as the shoulder. Rocking back and forth. Keeping that pressure. Shoulder past the hands. You only have three seconds left, you can do it. Only have two seconds left, you can do it. There we go. Now, grab that water. Hydrate. We've got our abs to finish up. And that's it. It's just a little bit of ab work. And then we're home. We're going to do reverse crunches and plank marches. And it's time to uh, face the day. I'm getting my hair back too. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So the reverse cr crunch and the plank march are both done from the ground. So what you're going to do is you're going to be here. I'm pressing my hands into the floor, pulling my knees back towards me, and I'm keeping my shoulders on the ground, tapping, tapping. This is about quality, not quantity. Don't be in a hurry. Don't rush these. Again, if you have an anchor and you need an anchor, you can use an anchor. Uh, that's the reverse crunch, the plank march. You're gonna come over. You're gonna be on the other side. Butt's gonna be down. One, one, two, two, three, three. Oh, wow, these pants make my butt look great. I didn't even notice that. Thank you, Adidas. Now, <clears throat> reverse crunches, plank march. We're starting that final circuit in five, four, three, two, one, and we're rolling. Two, three. Wow, this is uh, this is really good for my back. I could feel the uh, <laughs> the popping. Five seconds left. Only make it, only do the good reps. If you need a break, take a break. But we don't exchange technique for speed. We don't exchange technique for volume. Always technique first. So we're going up and down, up and down. Making it look good. Stay on that straight line. Legs stay straight. This is coming from the hip coming from the glute. So make flex that glute before you lift that foot. Back on the reverse crunch. And feet together as you move. Control on the way down. Fast up, slow down. Fast up, slow down. Every rep counts. Five, four, three, two. Back to the plank march. So make sure you squeeze the glute before you lift the foot. Ten seconds left. Marching onward through this training through this day, through this week, starting new habits, new structure, new discipline. Back to the reverse crunch. We're here. Quality over quantity again. Up, touch, 
Up, touch, up, touch. We're going. Yes. Back to the plank march. This is the uh, third set. You should be warmed up by now. We're moving. Staying strong. If you can see your heart rate, you might be surprised at uh, how high it is. If you're like me, it's very high. Nothing like a little extra cardio in the morning. Get that conditioning up. Back to the reverse crunch. Last set. First set. That's right, baby. All day or day. Maybe we do a lot more with the body weight. All right, finish strong. Alusa, I got this. You got this. Let's practice our finish. Alusa, oh yeah. Four. Almost home. Three, two. <laughs> yes. That is. That is good. That is really good. Nice job. But we're not done. We're not done. You got your homework to do. Yeah, you thought it was all fun and games. Uh, Bootsy's going to take you through the homework like she always does. So Bootsy very quickly is going to demonstrate the exercises. So she's going to start with the uh, push-up, it looks like. So again, we're doing plank push-ups, feet together, knees together. Awesome. She'll go into a sit out. So she's here. She's going to pivot to the outside foot, kick through, pivot to the outside foot, kick through. All that weight is in the back foot so she doesn't get uh, burnt out on her hands. The, sit, the knee grab, chest, hands to the chest, hands to the shin, moving her whole body. And then if you have chin ups, a chin up bar at home, you can do chin ups or you'll do the swimmer. So Bootsy is swimming now to infinity again, just like we did earlier. So you're only going to do 20 seconds of each, each set. So you're going to start out with, what do you want to start with, Bootsy? We're going to start out with the push-up. And you're going to do 20 seconds. You'll have 10 seconds to transition to the next exercise. And uh, this is just what you can do without any stops or rest, starting in three, two, one, and you're moving. Okay, so you're pushing. You're being strong. Yes. Getting after it. Good work. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, coach. There you go, Bootsy. There you go, Heather. Killing it. Now we're going on to the sit out. Three, two, one. All right, Bootsy's really good at these, so she moves lightning fast. Heather, make sure that foot is flat on the ground, okay? I don't want to see you on your toe. I want to make sure that whole foot is down. Same with you, Chris. Same with you, Sarah. No stopping in the middle, going all the way through. Three, two, one. All right, now we're back. We're going to do the knee grab in three, two, one. Boom. All right. Coach Bootsy's a machine. She's going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, boom. All right, and then the swimmer to finish strong. So, she laces into the floor, pulling the hands by the sides, and go, we're moving. Getting it done, getting it done. 
Spread those fingers, get those forearms to train. Train those shoulders as much as you can. Every choice matters, everything counts. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, Woo! homework done. Excellent. Now you're really, now you're really ready to start today, aren't you? No, hey, uh, thank you, Heather. Thank you, uh, everybody, for showing up. And um, uh, there is, uh, there, we all have a lot of work to do, every single one of us. We've got to create structure. We've got to create habits. We've got to show up for our family. We've got to show up for ourselves. Uh, but remember, in this whole game, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Not everything needs to get done in one day. And uh, you've got to make sure that you're taking care of yourself, putting your oxygen mask on first, and uh, that you're, you're going to be strong because... Every, each one of us has a lot of responsibility, so make sure you're filling up your tank, um, you know, getting that, uh, getting that energy flowing, getting that, uh, that, that, heart, that heart energy full, and, uh, and to see you can stay strong for the fight. Holy cow, we took a lot of time today. I want you guys to get back at it. Get, get out there, eat breakfast, uh, get your recovery on, drink water, and, um, and stay strong. Coach Josh, training for Warriors Portland, helping you bring out the warrior within. Yeah, I have a question.